Let's move on to gifting in the jewellery sector. Um, Shana, I think um, there are a few gentlemen that always take the opportunity and take advantage of Valentine's Day to do the big proposal. Yes. Um, and you've recently launched your new engagement um, ring line. Uh, tell us more about that. And is this your sort of preparation towards Valentine's Day? Well, Jackie, in fact, we, uh, we launched our new collection of engagement rings in last year, October. And that's quite special. Um, we took quite a wholesome approach to um, the the bridal wear as mm, such. Mm. Um, and our brand ethos, particularly in our industry, which is quite unusual, is that we're about love, beauty, passion, and truth. So we've um, incorporated those virtues into our designs. Um, everything's handcrafted, which is quite special and rare in our industry. And we've um, made for some very special and unique bespoke engagement rings. Mm -hmm. So we've partnered with Tinswallow Lodges. And what's quite special is if you, if you are in the market for an engagement ring, um, you come and see us. We can either custom design something for you, which a lot of couples are moving towards nowadays um, because it is unique and it's a symbol of their love. They want something that shows that. Mm -hmm. So, um, oh, so we've gone to the, guy, the, the days where the guy just comes in and picks one yes, well and surprises the girl. We huh? still have that, okay. um, but All interestingly, right. sometimes men come in now and buy a diamond, and then they'll sit with a designer and their, their wife to be and have the ring designed together as opposed to choosing for her, not knowing what she necessarily use, wants. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've, we've definitely seen a few trends. Um, in, in the past few years, Valentine's Day is historically um, a special day to, to propose to someone. Some might view it as um, not being special because it is so cliched, as some might say. Mm. And um, we are looking forward to it, though. I think it's going to be exciting. What we've done for Valentine's Day is actually discount our jewelry between 7 and 14 February, which is contrary to what a lot of brands are doing. Um, we, we just thought that because those virtues are so special, the mm. love, passion, beauty, and truth we want to give um, more people access to that experience mm. so that's what we're doing and make it more affordable for that's guys right. to actually yes. go and say you know what I'd like to spend something on my that's my lovely right. partner and this is where we go that's do you see a lot of ladies coming in buying guys jewelry um, not, so much, not so much but interestingly I think a lot of women do come in and spoil themselves on Valentine's Day um, they might why be not? in a relationship they might not mm. but why not buy themselves a gift it is indulgent but it's it's about um, you know spoiling yourself absolutely enjoying it absolutely and why, why not? not so let's look at the age relevance um just before the, the break we just had a bit of a chat and said can you remember when we back at school you know and Val what valentine's meant then versus now hey mike well it's quite fascinating because the brand that works best for us over valentine's day is ps and um and we find that the consumers that they really buy into the brand and try and utilize it the most over Valentine's Day are um, young teenagers, teenage females particularly. Yeah. So, you know, and you'll see that um, there is no negativity around Valentine's Day for them at all. Often they are in love with somebody or think that they're in love with somebody, hmm. but they're trying to find a way to tell that person. And Valentine's Day is their moment so that gives them license to go and show right. their love to somebody else. And um, so for them, it's very exciting. Besides the fact that they often like to know how many secret admirers they've got, because the more flowers or chocolates or whatever that they get, um, yeah. the more special that they feel and probably the cooler they are amongst their, their social group. Mm. And it's, quite a, it's quite a mystery, like you say, and it's a cool thing. But when it comes to flowers, now, now you can shop online. Right. How's that working for you? Well, we've been doing that for 11 years, and it's 80% <coughs> um, of our business is online. So most people are using us that way. Some call our call center, but um, it's, it's a more personal way than it used to be to phone a florist. Because when you phone a florist, you don't know what you're getting. You can't see it. So online, you can pick between pictures. We've got a new range in a box that people are responding to, nice presentation. So I think online, oddly enough, gives a more personal experience than a telephone because you can see what mm. you're ordering. Mm. And it's quick and easy to do. It's quick and it's easy. Mm. So glad somebody else. And that's the way we're going. <laughs> we're all shopping online now. Can you shop Gina Clifford online? Uh, not yet. Not no. yet. Well, but that's a different experience, right? I think so. Yeah. And we try and we try and make an experience. Yeah. I mean, from the moment you walk into our shop, um, into well, uh, rather our design studio or one of our stores, it's it's the music you hear, the smells, the roses. We use lots of roses. In fact, that's our signature. Yes. Right. So um, it is um, one would detract from it if you were to be shopping online. Although 
if you see something you like, you can phone in and, and place an order for it. Mm. But we try and encourage people to, to come into our stores. It's an and experience. It's, it's relationship based. It's based. the boutique, yes. it's the experience. No, That's I absolutely right. agree there. But um, let's look at, do you think, Mike, we are, as South Africans, traditional people? Traditionally. Well, I think <laughs> traditionally, yes, we are, and we still love to celebrate core seasons and yeah. times of the year. So, you know, the festive season in December is is a big one for us, and it leads goes from there into um, Valentine's Day and then to Easter. Easter. And so there's know, a few on the calendar. There are a few on the mm. calendar, and um, people love getting involved in them. You know, and they do get involved in them, even if they're quite condescending of them at times. Yeah. Um, it's still a time to celebrate and have fun and whether it's to show your love or, or to in, or spoil your kids or whatever it is, you know, there's, um, I think we are quite traditional and we still do tap into those occasions quite extensively. So Mike, from Cadbury's um, point of view, how co commercially viable are these days, like a Valentine's Day or an Easter or so on? You know, when it comes to absolute runs in the bank, it's not viable for us at all. And the reason it's not is because if we do special runs at the factory, it interrupts the factory. So they're small runs, which are far more expensive. Then on top of that, we throw a lot of marketing spend at it. And, um, and then because it's one day, after yeah. that day, you've got all these returns. So yeah. um, it's actually quite it actually costs us money in the end, you know. But you have um, to be involved because... But we, you know, chocolate is a major... Um, <laughs> um, gifting option okay. over Valentine's Day as a start. Um, and secondly, we do have brands that we can use in a brand building element over Valentine's. Mm. So we still, you know, we benefit it from more in the sense that we can entrench our brands in the hearts and minds of consumers, which make them very healthy brands. And the loyalty then for those brands extends way beyond Valentine's right. Day or whatever it is. So it's a big so picture plan, so isn't it? So it's, it's a big picture plan. Mm. So it's not just about the money the over that yeah. period, but yeah. it's actually about what it says about your brands and your company um, from a longer term perspective. Emotional affinity you have to be and there love for our brands. Yeah. Mm. Right. So, Shayna, what is the biggest day on your calendar when it comes to commercial value, obviously? Well, it's an interesting question, Jackie. We don't actually have a, a specific day that's big, but actually, women's birthdays are probably our largest. Mm. Um, you know, purchases. Right, so right. one can't really pinpoint that to a day in the year. Christmas mm -hmm. is a good time for us, um, and Valentine's is a good time. We also have an annual sale in May, June, which is is, is quite nice as well. But I would say that um, men and women generally tend to spend more on each other on a special birthday yeah. versus a traditional holiday like a Christmas or a yeah. So Easter is also not um, not a good time for us. Everyone goes away. So exactly. <laughs> yeah. Do you find the same, Ryan? in your industry? <coughs> so I agree with Mike, Valentine's Day for us is not uh, commercially that wonderful. And similar to Mike, it, it, we have to gear up tremendously to, to deliver the capacity mm. um, or to create the capacity. But what it does do is it gives us an opportunity to interact with our clients mm. and to acquire new customers. Because business isn't about one day. If, if you're in business for one day, it's hard to make that viable. Uh, it's about repeat purchases and building a relationship with the customer. And for us, it's a chance to acquire new customers. That's why we market on the day. Get them in, experience our service, we'll deliver their roses, everything will be great. And then hopefully over the next year or two or three years, they'll use us for the anniversaries, the birthdays, the get wells, the sympathies, whatever there is. So we see Valentine's Day as a customer acquisition day, not necessarily uh, rants in our pockets. Right. And uh, do you see you know, customers buying roses or, or flowers on a day-to-day -day basis? Our whole business is based on that. So our mm. business isn't based on Valentine's Day and Mother's Day. These are, these are our big peaks. Yeah. Uh, but over the year, for example, Valentine's Day and Mother's Day collectively is about 20% of our business. Um, so it's significant, but there's 80% coming right, from right. all the other days and uh, weeks. So customer acquisition is more important for us in building that relationship. In closing, your Valentine's do and don'ts, Shana. Hmm. Do go for dinner with your partner, <coughs> just a dinner. I think that's special. Cool. Yeah. Um, don't write a cheesy card. <laughs> and don't, we've got suggestions on our site for cards. Oh, wonderful. Don't pick one of them. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And we've All got right. them. If you're terrible at writing cards, they're just there. Just put your we've name with a, a kiss. But yeah, but Most rather, pieces, yeah. Yeah, yeah, write your own card. Okay. I think like? mine very simply would be just make it real and make it from the heart. Because if your partner knows that it's coming from the heart and it's really a special um, day and feeling that you're trying to create, I think then you're far more likely to win them over.